Hi guys, Rachel Spunky Misfit Girl here. So I'm doing a little bit of an experiment today and it's not related to junk journaling. So if you're only a junk journaler and that's it, this might not be the video for you, but I thought it would be fun to film it. I'm, I've done a little bit of this before. So this is the basic idea of the thing that I'm making. And um, I did a few of them Oh, ages and ages ago, before, actually before I got into junk drilling, a little more hardcore and actually, you know, making books consistently, I was messing around with these, because uh, they were fun and they look nice when they turn out well. It's a bit tricky to get them to turn out well, <laughs> but I saw a Stamperia tutorial ages ago and I'm vending at a steampunk uh, convention in April and so I'm kind of putting together some different things that I don't know how the junk journals will do and I kind of want to have a little bit of a variety of different kind of interesting things to look at and come you know invite you in to take a look at the booth and stuff. So I'm going to do a few of these probably not a ton because I don't love making them it's it's not um it's not as much my my forte and my love as uh, as making books um but i thought i'd walk through the process of doing this so i have these i as you can see i did these smaller ones before they're very difficult and you can't really put anything in them they're kind of so tiny um i actually really don't know what if anything i'm going to put in these but i got the bigger ones to try out um because of that so I'm gonna try using them. Um, my aim is to make them kind of steampunk Alice, um, but they, I don't have any rice paper with this theme, so I'm just using some rice paper that I had that has London maps on it. And what I've done is I've cut pieces for the bottom. And this is, in my experience with doing these before, this was the, kind of the best way to do this I mean there it's not easy <laughs> regardless but to kind of do a bottom piece first yeah and like I cut these I cut some little chunks in it and it, that's not helping at all um to do the bottom and then a piece for the main part of the body um that can then kind of dip into this lip here and then do the last top lip by itself with a little piece here. Um, that seemed to be the way that it worked the best for me. So that's why I've cut um, little pieces of rice paper for each of these in the hopes that this will go well. So uh, I've got this little um, spongy guy because he works very well. Um, for getting this stuff on here and then I've got this Stamperia primer that's white that makes that rice paper come out nicely so I'm gonna start with the bottom um, and see what we can do here see if I can make this look Anything other than a total disaster will be a win here. Um, this is very messy when I did it before. But they do make nice, even if they don't sell, they make nice little um, decorations in my vendor booth. So if you're going to be near Galveston... In April, you should come to the Steampunk Festival and see me. A bunch of my friends will be there with me. So I'm just trying to carefully get this sticking. I don't really have quite enough going on here. Some of these areas are a little bit longer. 
than others. And of course, eventually when I do the body, I will need that on there anyway. Let's try to come up, make sure we get all the way around and we can fold our pieces. Try to kind of go slowly here so that Ideally, ultimately, this would kind of lay nicely. It's a bit hard because it's a square on a circle. There's probably some trick to doing this really well, and I just don't know it. So come along with me if you like. Have a listen if you just enjoy listening. <laughs> if you check it out and watch it and want to get the materials, try it out later. I think this is going to turn out, if I'm careful, and I can go slowly, I think this will ultimately turn out nicely. And then once the raised paper is on, there's probably a much better way to cut this that would make this ultimately really smooth, but that's coming out okay. I just have a few pieces that are a little honky here. What I do is over the top, and in fact, it probably would have been a good idea to have some Mod Podge. I Mod Podge over the top of it, and that seals it um, very nicely. I. I only have um, this stuff works well as a glue with those pieces that are I'm gonna just use a little bit of that for some of these pieces that are sticking up here to get them to lie down um, I believe I use the Mod Podge as a sealer I think I only have matte, but it might be nice to try out a glossy and see. I don't know. I don't know if that would be exactly appropriate for something that's meant to look old and vintage and steampunky, Victorian. All right. I think this is getting close to being about where I want it to be. I really just want it to lay down enough that I can put the body over it because the body should be long enough. So I think what I'll do is put a little bit of this stuff over the top all the way around so that the, because the primer works well on the glass but I find that once it's needing to stick over the rice paper in these areas, it doesn't grip as well. So I'm just giving myself just a nice coat so that it's not thick and sloppy, but just enough to give it a little stick. Fingers make a really good tool. For this and then I'm gonna try that base is looking really good I'm gonna try to get the body <laughs> as good the really tricky part is not so much the middle it's the lip it's when you come to having to deal with that lip it's, it's just really really hard to get those to lay down and wrap around those and, and look nice the paper wants to rip and doesn't want to stick and you have the problem again of going around a cylinder like that and you have missy fingers in the way trying to hold on all right I think and it's hard because this bit in here too is you know, in underneath there. Mm. I want it all to look good. 
good. I think I've got it all the way around. Okay, so let's grab one of these. I think I just put primer on my face, but that's the way it goes. So I hope my glue will still stick. And then I'm gonna come around this way. Nice and easy. Get that guy laying down. Everybody laying down. Sound like I'm trying to sing you to sleep. Ugh. Just want it nice and flat in here. I almost use my bone folder on him. <laughs> but I don't want the paper to rip. That's the thing. We be gentle. Don't let that paper rip. And my body paper is actually a little bit big. Just trying to see if I can get those bits that are bubbly. Oh yeah, I like that. All right, so let's put a little bit of gel medium. This is the stuff I always used to use for glue. In the days before junk journals, when I was doing collage, and other things. Oh no, now that's a little too long. Can I cut him off? Let's try and see. Try and see. Try and see. It's looking pretty good. Um, you may complain that I made this look too easy, but I promise you, I've done this before <laughs> and that's why uh, so now I'm just gonna push on the paper to get it to kind of sit inside that top shoulder of the bottle to get that piece covered up and I'm not gonna worry it you know it's pulling back away from the top lip which is fine so we're gonna cover that separately with its own, um, its own little strip of paper. I found when I try to do it all at once, it just does not turn out well because the paper rips, and you just can't get this this inner strip right here ends up not covered properly because the paper rips, and then you just have a hole. Um, and it just doesn't look good. It looks better if you do it this way. I am going to pop the stuff that is long enough to kind of sit up against that around there. And I think I will put some gel medium on the outside of that too so that the tricky part about this is that you still kind of want the primer in there, so I'm going to use this little guy to give us some primer on that top part because it does make the rice paper kind of pop and look nice when you do that. We're going to go inside too, so get it a little, a little bit of primer in there. Um, and some glue on the outside. I thought these would be fun. I have a lot of Steampunk Alice pieces, which has been selling very well in my Etsy shop. 
um, I thought I would have a kind of cute little accessory. So I'm gonna try. So what I've done with these is kind of cut on one end, I've cut little dents in there, as you can see, and I'm gonna use that as my top. You know what I need? I'm gonna need more glue. I'm gonna need some glue on the outside here. Yeah, I'm just gonna glue that up real good. And this glue dries totally clear, so there's no problem mucking it up everywhere. But mainly I want this to fold over this lip and go inside here really nicely, which it should do, but I'm still gonna have to push it into that middle indent and then you'll see I'm gonna have a nice little row just to slide right in there. Need some more glue for that piece. These are a little bit longer than they should be. Looking good. I think I might put a piece of twine tied with a bow around these necks to give them a little more um, definition. Give that a hole in there. And keep pushing that guy in underneath. Oh, nice. I probably, there's probably some kind of tool would probably work well for this. Like if I had a little, one of those sculpting tools with a little ball on the top, I bet would come in handy for something like this. All right, let's get that inside done before this dries on me. So hopefully now my cuts should help this To get in here um, more naturally because when it's a just one big circle it doesn't really want to fold in there like that let's try to get these up against the inside I don't think I had enough glue in there see how that guy's looking it's not sticking quite as well as I would like on the inside but it came out pretty well pretty pleased with that um, so ultimately what I'm gonna do is put these guys on here maybe with a drink me these little um, guys I've also got some playing cards oh, where did my other drink me go I lost it I had a thing that actually said drink me I don't think I brought it over but like maybe this guy goes around the bottom or something. That's kind of fun. <laughs> what did I do with Alice? Oh, for heaven's sake. There she is. Silly. 
with the queen on the other side. That could be cool. All right, let's ink her up. I'm gonna use this stuff for now. You could also use Mod Podge, I think. But this stuff can go on the outside as a sealant too, very similarly to Mod Podge. I think ultimately Mod Podge is a little better, but I don't know all the technical details of what makes one better than the other. This is cardstock, so it's not wanting to stay here without my using a little bit of force to curve it and keep it curved. My fingers are all gooey already. And I don't wanna get this all gooey. Yeah, I'm getting primer on there too. All right. Ultimately, that's it. Bottom first, body, top. And I will show you the end product when I'm done. Okay, so ultimately what I decided to do with these is do all the messy primer pieces first because the primer gets everywhere on your fingers and all over the place. And then I'm gonna give it a little bit to dry and then do my collaging. Um, and then put a coat of Mod Podge on the outside as a seal. One of the things you want to pay attention to when you're doing these, once you get to the point where you have your body on and you're coming to do your, your top lip, uh, just make sure you glue around here so it'll stick on that top part. And then it's not a bad idea too to put a little glue on the inside. Those, those pieces in here can be kind of stubborn. They don't want to stay in. And then what I'm doing is I'm using the back end of this sponge to just kind of noodle that in there. Um, my fingers didn't work very well because they kept sticking. But this guy works a little better. So I'm just gonna leave these guys to dry. Uh, I'm gonna come back to Alice and make her stick a little better. I'm gonna go wash my hands first. All right, so now that my hands are a little cleaner of primer and these guys have had a little bit of time to dry, um, I decided that what I'm gonna do is keep this simple and just do one of these. I want another Alice and I want a Cheshire Cat. Um, and then I'm going to, I was looking at this thing. This is Drink Me tied around its neck. And I think I'm gonna do something like that with some twine and maybe a, an Alice charm. And I'm gonna figure out some kind of tag, small, small little tag about this size that says Drink Me, uh, maybe in Canva. And, uh, and print those out and tie them on with twine. So I will figure that out in another video. But for now, I'm just gonna finish up. I've got my Mod Podge 
And I'm going to try to get this Alice girl to sit. She doesn't want to. She doesn't want to lay down. But ultimately, the whole thing needs a coat. Just to seal it anyway. So let's see if we take the other Alice and kind of bend her around a little bit first. Give her that shape. Maybe that'll help. Kind of, kind of give it that bend and help it want to sit there. Let's see if Mod Podge will will do that for us a little bit better than the gel medium did. A nice, consistent, but not too heavy coat. And let's try putting that on there. Put her in the front. And I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna have to hold that <laughs> all night, but maybe not if I use my finger tool. Push her down, get that contact made. Mm. Kinda liking the looks of that, guys. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Oh, that's so nice. I love it. I'm going to age this bottle, I think, a little more with some ink. I'd mind giving it a little bit of glitter, too, a little gold. I don't know if I have anything like that that can use. I can work for that. I'm going to try to get this one to adhere a little better, too. I think we can get it. with my fingers. Yeah, I wish I, that I would have waited now on this one too. Now that I see how nicely it works there. That is a little bit trickier with this one because I don't have the glue that I need underneath. Maybe I can get it. Figured out now. <sighs> Just really pushing on those edges that don't want to lay down. I think we're getting there. This guy too. I think I just really, really need to get those edges. So let's take Mr. Cat as well. Wow, I did such a good job with this bottle. I, I think that's the seam for the body, but it's really hard to tell. him that I don't want to crease him here I'm actually gonna put the Mod Podge on the bottle I think because that's gonna just be nicer plenty of it and then I can get the cat to no, maybe not. Maybe that was not the way to go. He doesn't seem to want to adhere at all, so. Maybe it's just the stubborn cat. Oh no, now I got Mod 
podge on his face. <laughs> All right, here we go. Right up against there. I'm just gonna hold it down for a sec here too on the corners to get it all. I think I might put a little extra there. I think I'm still getting primer on things like glue. Glue from other projects. There, that's looking better. Yeah, I think I'm going to be really happy with these, ultimately. This one still does not want to lay down. Those are pretty good. And that's the uh, Steampunk Alice Drink Me Bottles. Let me know if you have any questions.